Okay, this is a long, complex problem. So let's start and make sure I organize everything here because organization is key on these long problems. So 180 judges, 30% were women. It's 30% W, 25% were for minority groups. So I'm going to say MG for minority groups. And then it says one ninth of the women appointed were from minority groups, one ninth appointed. And they want to know how many were neither my women. So neither women, it's easy, male, right? Male, how many were male and not from minority groups? So we want male plus not from minority groups. It's a good way to go about dealing with these numbers is setting up a little grid like this. And we're gonna have females, males, minority group, non-minority group. We're gonna take this information on the left here and we're gonna plug it in accordingly. So first off, 30% are women or 30% are females. And let me let me actually change that to a W, otherwise the WF thing is gonna be confusing. But women and men. Okay, 30% are women. 30% of 180 is 54. Three times 18, 54. Cut off both zeros. Quick and easy way of doing it. Okay, so 54 women total means there's 126 men left because there's 180 total. Okay, now we know 25% are from minority groups, but we actually want to jump across that because we have this nice number here. It's not just percent here, but we have this fraction that tells us specifically the women appointed war for minority groups. So we can actually come in here and put in a specific number, one ninth of the 54, or that's a six, or minority groups, meaning that 48 were from non-minority groups. Now we can take this next information that 25% were from minority groups. Okay, well that's great because one fourth of 180 is 45. And so we know that minority groups, this plus this, has to equal 45. We have six, so we know that 39 are going to be males in the minority groups. We actually want to know, again, men that are not minority groups. So this box right here, 126 total men minus the 39 that are in the minority groups gives us 87 or answer choice C.